am Piri and welcome back to the video series about how to fly in X-Plane. This is the practical part of the level flight lesson and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the airspeed while maintaining level flight. I'm also going to teach you how to re-trim the aircraft once the desired airspeed has been reached. The things that I'm going to show you might seem basic and trivial and in fact they are. However, the precision and quality of the basic skills directly influence the uh, smoothness and accuracy of the more complicated maneuvers that I'm going to cover in the future lessons. So, please pay attention. Uh, before I start, I would like to recall a couple of slides from the previous theoretical lessons in order to highlight certain important points. Uh, this slide uh, represents the four basic forces influencing the aircraft uh, in flight. I want you to note that the blue uh, thrust vector is below center of gravity. Any force that is not directly lined up with center of gravity will try to rotate the aircraft. And so does the thrust. Whenever the thrust is increased, the force will push the uh, aircraft nose up, increasing the angle of attack and increasing lift, and therefore the aircraft starts to climb. Uh, as our intention is to maintain level flight, then whenever the throttle is uh, increased, uh, the nose of the aircraft must be pushed slightly down in order to uh, contract the nose up tendency. Uh, with this slide I want you to uh, memorize that whenever the airspeed is uh, changing then the engine RPM is also changing. Uh, and whenever the desired airspeed has been reached uh, the engine RPM has to be reset to the proper value in order to stop the airspeed changing. And then there is a concept of constant lift. Uh, as the airspeed changes, then the lift generated by the wings also changes. Uh, and in order to remain in level flight, the pitch angle of the aircraft has to be ch constantly changed throughout the process of acceleration or deceleration. Uh, for example, when the aircraft is accelerating, then the nose of the aircraft has to be pushed constantly down. Uh, until the acceleration stops or when the aircraft is decelerating then the nose has to be constantly pulled up in o uh, until the deceleration process stops. And finally I want you to remember the vertical speed management procedure from lesson 3. Whenever the vertical speed is not what you want it to be then look outside, change the attitude of the aircraft in relation to the horizon, wait a few moments and then look back into the uh, vertical speed indicator to see if any further changes are necessary. Ok, now that the theory of level flight has been covered, it is time to put that theory into practice. Uh, I'm flying here at about 83 knots and 2000 feet. Uh, level just the way I left the airplane flying at the end of lesson 3. Uh, for starters, let's mark down the position of the horizon for present airspeed. Uh, and the very first task would be to accelerate from 83 knots to 95 knots. To do that, the power must be increased to about 2300 rpm. Uh, and remember that while increasing power to push the nose slightly down to remain in level flight. So let's increase the power to 2300 uh, like this. And now uh, as the airplane is accelerating continuously push the uh, nose down in order to remain uh, in level flight. Uh, as the airspeed is approaching 95 knots now, the power has to be reset back to 2300 
in order to stop the acceleration process. Like this, okay, the airspeed stabilized about 95, 96 knots, which is uh, close enough. So, and now, uh, as I'm flying level, it is again good to mark down the position of the horizon, which is uh, somewhat different from 83 knots that I marked down previously. So, and um, uh, now it is good to uh, try the process uh, in the other way, to decelerate back to 83 knots. Uh, to do that, the uh, power has to be decreased uh, to 2015. So let's do so and uh, remember to raise the nose a bit in order to remain in level flight. So and as the airplane is now decelerating, keep raising the nose. If you raise the nose too fast, then the airplane starts to climb. And play with attitude in order to remain uh, in level flight. So and as the airspeed is approaching 83 knots, remember to reset the power back to the correct value to stop the acceleration process. So something like this. And again, I'm flying at 83 knots level. There are th two things to note here. Uh, first, the horizon is back to its uh, proper place for 83 knots level, as you can see. Uh, and the second E is uh, that as the airplane was trimmed for 83 knots level flight and we are flying again at 83 knots level, then uh, no uh, force is needed uh, to maintain the pitch angle of the aircraft. Uh, the Cessna tries to roll a bit to the left and that must be compensated, uh, but the pitch angle remains constant on its own. So, and uh, next I would like to show you how to trim the aircraft for a different airspeed. Uh, for example, that 95 knots that I was previously holding uh, manually. Uh, for that, I would um, uh, need to change the rendering settings a bit in order to uh, get the cockpit a bit brighter and to show you the trim wheel that is currently pretty much hidden away. Uh, so let's uh, go to settings and rendering options and the shadow detail, let's put it into static. And now the cockpit and especially trim wheel should be uh, visible much more. Okay, and as you can now see, the trim wheel is somewhat more visible, and that's exactly what we what we need. Uh, so uh, let's continue flying, and this time uh, let's uh, accelerate back to 95 knots uh, and re-trim the aircraft for 95 knots level flight. So again, let's increase the power to uh, 2300 while pushing the nose down slightly. Uh, and the uh, airplane is accelerating. Let the airplane accelerate, push the nose down slightly. Again, if you push the nose down too fast, then the airplane descends. Uh, and if you do it too slow, then the airplane climbs. Okay, and now that the airspeed is about 95 knots, reset the power back to uh, 2300 or maybe a bit less. So, and now I'm flying a 95 knots or 96 knots level. Uh, and how to trim the aircraft so that I can uh, relieve the stamp uh, hand from the 
controls. Uh, if I would currently try to take my hands off the controls, then the airplane nose would would raise. Not good. So let's uh, put the air nose back to level flight. Let's get and maintain level flight like this. Good. And now uh, add, uh, let's say, six clicks of nose down trim. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, after adding the nose down trim, uh, maintain level flight like this. And uh, try to release the controls again. If I would now release the controls, the nose would still raise. Uh, let's establish the level flight again. Push the nose down where it was, establish level flight. And again, uh, add another six clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and make sure that you're still in level flight. And, uh, and try to release the, uh, or, uh, release the controls again. Still the nose raises a bit. Push the nose back down in order to establish level flight. Uh, and add, uh, for example, three more clicks because we are getting close. One, two, three. And try to re uh, release the controls. And still the nose slightly raises, although not much, but slightly raises. Uh, push the nose back to maintain level flight and add another three clicks for example uh, and now if you try to release the controls then nose very very barely raises but still it is not fully trimmed so push it down to maintain level flight and add one or two clicks more and now the uh, attitude should remain constant even the airplane descends a bit so so this is the way you uh, you trim the aircraft pretty much in trial and error uh, and currently the air uh, airplane it pretty much flies level around 95 knots so we can say that it is now trimmed for 95 knots because we do not have to uh, put any effort in maintaining attitudes anymore and the aircraft is now trimmed for 95 knots. Uh, so let's uh, try the same procedure the other way uh, and let's uh, decelerate back to 83 knots and uh, let's re-trim the aircraft for 83 knots. To do that uh, reduce the power again 2000 to 2015 uh, and let the airplane decelerate while maintaining level flight by raising the nose. As the aircraft is now trimmed for 95 knots I have to pull the nose back or pull the controls back in order to remain in level flight and we are approaching 83 knots so restore the reset the power back so that 83 knots is maintained uh, first maintain the level flight manually and now mm, pretty much so and now let's uh, start trimming the aircraft uh, we now need to add nose up trim because uh, we manually keep the nose up so I add two, three, four, five, six clicks of nose up trim and re-establish level flight. Okay, and if I would now try to release the controls, then the nose would drop quite rapidly. Uh, let's restore the level flight. Okay, like this. And let's add another six clicks of nose up trim. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, note that while I added nose up trim, the nose raised on its own. So again, after adding the nose up trim, uh, 
establish level flight like this uh, and now again try to release the controls and the nose still slightly drops not much but it still drops note that uh, it also drops uh, quite a bit slower than it used to so again establish level flight uh, and uh, add another let's say three clicks of no sub trim one two three and try to release the controls uh, still the nose lightly drops so we are still not trimmed properly uh, raise the nose back to level flight attitude uh, establish level flight and now add a uh, couple of more clicks uh, of nose up trim and uh, now the airplane is pretty much trimmed for level flight uh, maybe even one more click to make sure that the airplane remains in level flight and flying at uh, 83 knots very good and now again the posi uh, position of the horizon is where it is uh, supposed to be uh, at uh, 83 knots and uh, and the attitude mm, remains constant as it uh, on its own remains constant on its own uh, so and uh, what uh, uh, I would like to show you finally uh, are the advanced techniques uh, for both uh, uh, power setting and also trimming uh, I covered uh, advanced power setting techniques uh, in the theory part uh, of uh, level flight uh, and uh, this uh, I want to demonstrate to you uh, however also what I want to show you is the advanced techniques for uh, trimming uh, so mm, as you uh, trim then you basically replace uh, the uh, force on your controls with a trim every time you for example trim nose up then you um, release a little bit of control force in order to remain in level flight uh, so uh, advanced trimming is that uh, you can uh, actually uh, release the controls and add trim at the same time so this is the thing that I want to show you however first uh, let's uh, do the uh, advanced uh, acceleration in a way that you only set power once and the airplane uh, airspeed stabilizes at the correct value uh, previously in order to accelerate to 95 knots uh, I, ha I had to uh, set the power uh, to 2300 uh, however, uh, as the uh, engine RPM increases uh, while accelerating, then uh, uh, the engine RPM should be set to about 2200. Uh, and so let's set 2200. Let's see how the airplane accelerates. Again, let's uh, push the nose down light slightly to, to keep um, uh, flying level and now uh, the acceleration process is much uh, uh, slower because the power difference was smaller and now the airplane is flying pretty much 95 knots and doesn't uh, want to accelerate past it much or maybe 96 knots okay and now about that advanced uh, trimming part I'm flying level and uh, currently manually hold the 
uh, attitude so that the airplane maintains level flight. And uh, for advanced trimming, let's start to add nose down trim while simultaneously uh, release the control forces. So as you can see, trim wheel, and I am also releasing the controls here. And now the airplane is actually flying. Uh, yeah, it's almost flying at almost 98 knots level. Uh, however, I added nose down trim so that mm, the airplane is now trimmed for this airspeed. So, and let's try the same thing uh, the other way. Let's reduce the power to, let's say, 2150. Uh, and let the airplane decelerate, push the or pull the nose up to remain level flight. And again, the deceleration process is um, uh, slower because the power difference is not that great. So, and it takes quite some time to to decelerate and the air, air speed to stabilize. Um, okay, I guess uh, the this is pretty much what the uh, airplane decelerated. So now we can start adding the nose up trim already. And as you can see, I add the nose up trim from the trim wheel. And I also release the control forces um, uh, so that I remain in level flight. I trimmed a bit too much. So very good. We are flying again at 83 knots and pretty much level. Uh, so and as you can see that uh, advanced uh, power setting and continuous trimming uh, where you release the control force and add trim. It works nicely. Uh, and this is pretty much all that I wanted to teach you in uh, level flight. However, uh, finally, I would like to draw your attention uh, to the fact uh, that uh, horizon is in different positions uh, at different air speeds uh, and uh, it is a very good quality for the visual pilot if uh, the pilot can uh, learn the correct positions for the horizon so that um, when you are flying uh, at the same airspeed usually usually about 100 knots with this aircraft, then you already know uh, where the horizon should be at 100 knots. Uh, and uh, when you're flying, then you develop yourself a feeling whether the horizon is in the correct place or not. And uh, then you start having a gut feeling that the horizon is not where it is supposed to be. And you look at the vertical speed indicator and indeed it shows either climb or descent. Uh, and actually this is the proper way of uh, doing uh, visual flying. That you don't need instruments that much. You only look at the horizon and you know whether it is in correct place or not. It seems hard initially, but once you fly enough, you will build that feeling. So, thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next video where I'm going to talk about uh, the theory of level turns. And in the meantime, keep practicing the level flight and have a safe flight. Bye!